Hey everyone, I hope everything is going well with you. So in this video, I will talk about an important Python condition that its meaning does not sink in well sometimes, which is the if double underscore name equals double underscore main. So as you see, I have two files in my project and one is game and the second one is module one. So I'm sticking with the game file currently and later we will see what is inside the module one file. Now, before I go through explanations, I want to comment out the condition that is located in those lines. And later on, we will see what this condition is about. And you can also see that in my very first line, I have a print line which prints the double underscore name value because it is inside the curly brackets and I do have here the F letter which stands for the formatted string and I also have a function that currently I don't call it so if I execute it as it is then you can see that the double underscore name is being translated into double underscore main and the reason that has happened it is because the value of double underscore name is double underscore main but there is a special reason why its value is double underscore main and it is simply because this file has run directly and not imported from another source file so whenever the python interpreter reads a source file it does two important things it sets a few special variables like the double underscore name and it also executes all of the code located in that file. So within the special variables, the Python interpreter will set the value of double underscore name as double underscore main if it recognizes the file as being executed directly. But now I want to take this one step further. So if I switch up to my module one file, then you can see that it has a print line that says I am module one. And it also has some variables that I set up, but currently we won't relate to them. And then I will switch back to my game file. And what I want to do is import what is inside the module one file. And I just want to raise a reminder here that when you go to the top of your file and import some module, the Python interpreter reads a source file because of the import keyword. And as we already know, when the Python interpreter reads a file, it sets the double underscore name for that individual file. And also it executes the code within that file. So if I run this while I add the import module one line, then you can see that I am module one is printed because Python loaded every piece of code from that module one file. But when I'll go back to the module one file and besides printing I am module one, I want to print a formatted string that says module one. And then we will use the curly brackets to call the double underscore name variable as well. So as I have done that, I'll allow myself to go back to the game file and run it once again. And then you can see the difference calling the double underscore name inside a file that is executed directly between a double underscore name variable that is being given to a file that is important. Now, what that means? It means that we can test whether our file is being run directly or being imported using the if double underscore name equals double underscore main condition. And it also means that this setup gives you the option to decide if to run a chunk of code when imported from another Python file. So now it makes sense to uncomment those two lines and switch the pass into calling the run function. And once we execute the game file, then you can see that the output that says game starts is right there and that is only because the game file has run directly so one more step that will clear the doubts here i will go back to the module one file and then within that file i want to use the same condition that says if double underscore name equals double underscore main 
And then within that condition, it makes sense to print a sentence like I run directly. And I also want to use that else statement right after it. And in that case, it is a good idea to print a sentence like I did not run directly. And now as I have done that, I will go back to my game file once again and run that out. And then you can see that we got the outputs that are caused by the module one file. And then you can see how the module one file skipped the if double underscore name equals double underscore main condition and it entered right where the else statement is. And that is because this file is actually ran as import and not directly. Now, we might wonder why it is designed the way it is. Well, sometimes we want to write a file that can be both used by other programs as a module and also we want to use them maybe for a program itself. And so this design will give you several options of how you can use your Python files. So you can use them as a main execution file or you can design a file that its purpose is being a module that will help other execution files. And I want to take your attention to one final change there. So there are some times that you want to import only one item from a source file. So we are going to assume that we only want to import that user variable. So besides importing the whole module one file, I will just import the user variable. So it makes sense to write something like from module one, import user. And then if I execute this one final time, then you can see that it does not deliver any change for the Python interpreter that you want to import only one variable. It will still go through each line of the module that you import and execute it. So I want to take advantage of this video and shout out to everyone that I'm starting to create a series of videos that are beyond the basics of Python to help you to become a better Python programmer. But you can always watch my series for beginners if you thought that this video is a little bit in high level for you and you can click the suggested link above in order to start my Python for Absolute Beginners series. Now, in order to deliver you the best content, I'd much appreciate a comment from you guys in order to know about what subject you want to watch a tutorial next on my channel. So I hope those illustrations helped out to absorb why this condition exists in a lot of Python files and why it makes sense to take advantage of this kind of design. So peace out and take good care until next time.